Hey everyone, it's John again. I'm playing Immaculate Grid here on the uh, last day of the first half of the 2024 regular season. I'm uh, playing uh, grid number 469, which I'll uh, dedicate to El Caballo, Carlos Lee, who played a season and a half with the uh, Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, Bob Euchre, I think, is is who uh, gave Carlos Lee that nickname. He had 469 career doubles, probably 30 to 40 of them with the Brewers. Uh, he was traded alongside uh, Nelson Cruz in exchange for Francisco Cordero right around the time Derek Turnbow uh, imploded. <laughs> um, so that was a 2006 season. I remember it well. Uh, Brewers were supposed to be a lot better that year. Turnbow uh, imploded. We really wanted to get a good closer in there. We uh, ended up de dealing away Nelson Cruz. So um, I'm going to share my screen. I'll get into it. We'll play Sunday's Grid. And see how this goes. We'll see if we can get Carlos Lee in there. All right, hit and refresh, hit and go. And away we go. Uh, don't see a Carlos Lee option. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go Bruce Chen to start. All right, uh, George Brett for six war. Uh, let's go uh, Granky for that many wins. And down here, we can go Verlander for that many wins. Um, Bagwell for a bunch of war. And uh, Aubrey Huff, I think, hits both teams for just under one. Get Jim Palmer in there for low ERA for the Orioles. Yep. Um, Bob Gibson. 10 win, less than three, Walter Johnson. Oop. Oh, I got it. 58 seconds. I was afraid it was going to give me the wrong thing, but uh, only 17 Royals with six war in a season. Brett taking the majority there. That's going to be an interesting one. I don't have a list queued up, so um, like Amos Otis is a name that Seems like he might have gotten there, but I don't know for sure. Willie Wilson, same deal. I'm pretty sure Wilson got there. Um, Orioles, Astros is going to be tough. I got Huff under 1%. I'm not sure who my like usual suspects on that one are. I'm trying to think back. It's been a while since I've seen that combination anywhere. All right, let's do a stop share and a reshare. And I'll do that grid. And I'll hit refresh from yesterday's grid. Had a two rarity score yesterday, but some of you did a lot better. Some of you had had zeros. All right. Um, why to start on this one? Um, I know Lee May works for the uh, Astros and Orioles how rare that's going to be um i kind of think don larson works i kind of think that i'm not super sure on that though um i also kind of think bill hall works i'm and i'm not thinking I, I know he played for the orioles not sure about the astros um and then less than three ERA. I never did go through and find like sneaky position players I could I could throw at that one. Um, let's see for uh, for the Orioles, less than three ERA. What closer? Randy Myers, nineteen ninety seven, fourth in the MVP voting. A decent start. For six four season, I'm gonna go Ben Sheets 2004. One season really put it all together, but got no run support. Got went 12 and 14. Sub point one. And then he also would have worked over here. Uh let's see, less than a three ERA in a season at some point. Um, here's one 
reliever Jim Kern. 0.02. That's a look. Um, let's see here. Astros. 10 plus wins in a season. Yeah, Verlander, you got Cole. You got Dallas Keuchel, uh, Milwaukee Brewer. Um, Brett Myers will work. Randy Wolf, I think, works. Wandy Rodriguez will work. Roy Oswalt works a whole bunch. Pettit and Clemens both work. Um, Shane Reynolds works a bunch. Mike Hampton works a bunch, or at least a couple times. Uh, Jose Lima works for a couple seasons. Um, that takes us in pretty deep into the nineties. Mark Portugal, I think will work. Um, I want to say Doug Jones might work in relief, but I can't remember if he had that. He had like an 11 win season in there for either Houston or Cleveland. I don't remember which Nolan Ryan certainly works. I believe Don Sutton works pretty sure on Don Sutton. Um, Jared Richard, Mike Scott. At this point, I've gone pretty deep into the 80s. Who do I want to go with out of that crew? Oh, Brett Myers. Point two. Pretty good. Um, Six war season. And here's one where I, I could go with a one of those starting pitchers. Um, I know Moises Alou actually comes just short. He had a really good 1998 season, but it was like 5.8 WAR. Uh, I remember looking at it because it was he was third in the MVP voting. He was right behind Sosa McGuire and right ahead of uh, Greg Vaughn that season. Um, you have your 90s Astros. I know Biggio and Bagwell are certainly going to work. I'm not sure on your Carl Everett, Derek Bell types. Um, Mike Scott will definitely work. Mike Hampton, 1999, I'm pretty confident he'll work. Um, Morgan Ensberg had a random huge season in 2005. I could see that working. I don't think El Caballo works. Um, I don't think he gets to six war in any of his uh, six ish seasons. I think with Houston, I want to say he had a six year, hundred million dollar contract. I had a couple hundred RBI seasons. I just he wasn't that great defensively, so I don't think he quite gets there. Um, Bregman and El Tuve, of course, work. I think Brantley works. I think Korea works. That's a lot of names. Let's give it to Mike Hampton. For point four. What to do about Houston and Baltimore? Um, I don't think I've got Ron Valone with Baltimore. Um Steve Finley works. And that's not one of his major teams. I, I try to avoid Steve Finley if it's like he famously works for every NL. I don't know how famous it is, but he works for every NL West team. Um, his big ones are San Diego and Arizona. He also hits Baltimore and Houston as well as Anaheim or the Angels broadly. Um, I'm kind of dancing around the horn. I have this inkling that Bill Hall played for Houston, but I'm not sure on that one. He had some random – he had the Red Sox. He, I know he hit the Orioles and the Giants and the Mariners. I, I think that's too many teams. I don't think he hits Houston. I'm taking that back. I don't think he hits Houston. Um, sure. Let's go with the Lee May that was traded for – Joe Morgan, which I'm pretty sure is this one without the two percent. Okay, I'll take it. It's fine. Um, let's see for the Royals. 
Where do I want to go with this one? You got, I want Granky. You could also go Apier, Saberhagen, Leonard, go uh, that guy. I think that guy will work. Oh, he'll work way too well. I thought his name being weird to pronounce. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Gobiska, whatever. I, I, I thought that was going to make it not that searchable, but 5%, way higher than I thought. Um, Coming over here, Kansas City, 6-4 season. I definitely know Saberhagen works. I think Willie Wilson works. I think Amos Otis works. I know Carlos Beltran works. I know Alex Gordon works. He he was putting up big war seasons in like the 2012 time frame. Pretty sure Lorenzo Kane will get there. Um Jay Bell comes just short. He's north of five. I looked it up. I think it was five two. It was in my book. Um Trying like a Jermaine die. Tartable's defensive numbers weren't very good, so I don't think he'll work. Um, not sure on Frank White. Seems to me he was consistently around a three to four war player. Um yeah, that's also an interesting one. I don't know about Mike Sweeney or I am going to go Willie Wilson for four percent. So not not exactly crushing it on this one. And Kansas City and Baltimore. I also I I think Tejada works. I think Tejada played in Kansas City for like a year, if memory serves me right, like right at the end of his career. Um, let's go so, through some usual suspects. This is not going to be a Vince Coleman combo because he didn't play for Baltimore. Um, I'm not really thinking of any catchers who are going to work. Borders doesn't play for. I want to say maybe a Greg Zahn. Seems like he might work. He kind of seems like he'll work for. Like I'm like sixty percent sure he works for both teams. Um, which I guess only makes it a thirty six percent chance that I'm right. So maybe I don't take that chance. Um, not thinking of any really good relievers. Um, I'll say Jose Batista works. It seems to me Jose Batista had a year in there before Toronto where he just hit a bunch of awful teams. I think Tampa Bay was in there. I think Baltimore was in there. Pittsburgh. I think Kansas City as well. That's who I'm going to go guess. For 3%, so not even that rare. Ryan O'Hearn is the leader there. Trey Mancini is the leader for Baltimore and Houston with 31%. Yeah, these are some interesting ones. So I had the highest one for one, two, three, four of them. All right. Well, I will call it there. Thank you so much for playing, and uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Uh, peace.